Okay folks, uh, we are now on a quest. We've left the Aguirre Proving Grounds. There are some people there shooting guns. We didn't want to be anywhere around that. You know, they seem to be like safe shooters or whatever, but man, you just never know. So we decided to leave there and start our search for 12 mile, trying to get up over the mountain. And uh, you can see way up ahead, we got the Q Factor following Mr. Hooker. And uh, they're starting to work their way up over this mountain range. We have no idea where this goes. Um, I'm giving them a little bit of room. I don't know how gnarly it gets. I don't know. I don't know anything right now. So I'm just kind of taking my time, letting the Quinter work his way, staying up with Hooker, and I'm kind of staying back a little bit so my bro and his son can keep an eye on where we're at. But uh, I really don't know where this is going. We're hoping we get up over the mountain at some point, drop down into five miles, so we'll see how gnarly it gets. Okay. Hang on. I think he's frustrated. <laughs> Wait, let me help you. What happened? I don't freaking know. I was just freaking riding and I... Okay. You grab the handlebars. Shoulders, knees, and toes, brother. Eyes, ears, mouth, and. Hang on. Hang on. Let me see what's going to be the best way to... Okay. Yeah. I wonder if a rock bounced you off or something. Is it bogging on you too? Here, let me take it up there and we'll see how gnarly it gets. I'm gonna go around.
I wonder if it'd be easier for him. I don't know, I'll have him go see how gnarly it is. He's saying we'll turn around. It must be get pretty gnarly up there. Were you standing up? You probably can't stand up because your legs, huh? No, I was. Like I'm plan B. Is that pretty gnarly up there? Yeah. Like big bike gnarly? Uh, like who we have riding with us gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> Just Let's play. Sorry, it's a up. wide road. No, you can keep up fine. It, it, wind, it winds up over there for sure. This is pretty off camber. It's like the first one. Okay. Where you're going through that valley. Off camber, loose stuff, rocks. Steep climbs. Peggy's got a little bog off the bottom too. I'm wondering if if uh, my air filter's clogged up and stuff. It makes it harder. This is Scott and I turned around. I would think that over just over that ridge is five mile. But why don't you blast up there real quick, see if you can find it. I think I can on my bike. We can go on this. Just, this would make up for the guy. This is pretty technical stuff. This would make those adventure guys happy if we can get over. Maybe. I don't know if, it, if those guys on those bikes are. What? I was going to see if you wanted to run up there, see if you can get up on top and look, see if you can see five mile. Front wheel just went. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. There goes Derek. If you ever want to have anybody scout anything out, you send him. He's got no shame. <laughs> if that thing had knobbies on it, I'd, I'd do it, but. Yeah, it kind of is slicking the loose stuff. Everywhere else has been fine. I mean, that's that's going to be gnarly for guys on big bikes, probably. That's why I don't know how they can do it. I mean, that. Okay, you guys. We had an epic fail here. Started heading up this trail here, going around. You can see the kind of road over there on the right, thinking we could get up over the mountain. Ain't happening, brothers. It gets over the top a little ways. Stopped. So we sent my bro up there, because that's what he's really good at. If you just let him go, he'll find a freaking road anywhere. See that freaking mountain right there? All of a sudden we hear this, rap, 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 and that's him freaking climbing up the side of that mountain. We're like going, okay guys, there's no trail. He's making his own trail. Ain't no way I'm taking La Fonda up that bad boy. So he makes it back here a little bit later and says, yeah, we can do it. I'm like, freaking whatever, dude. And then we're sitting here just talking and stuff. And my little nephew Talon, we hear this clang. <laughs> the pike tips over and lands on a rock. And then we hear this clink, 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 clink. <laughs> and he dropped his helmet and it went rolling down this ravine right here. Just clink, 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 clink. All the way down. Oh, that's funny. Looked like he's got it now. So we epic failed this one. So we're going we're gonna to turn around. I head back down. There's a road that goes up over the top. We were hoping for some single track, but um, any of you guys that got stones willing to take your big adventure bike up the side of that mountain, I want to be here to watch it, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to turn this baby off for a little bit. We'll get back to the starting ground here, and uh, we'll find the next potential route over the top, okay? Homie out. <laughs>